So we're going to look at the electrolysis of iron chloride. The three in the brackets there, the Roman numeral is, tells us it's iron three plus ions. So iron chloride, iron three chloride is this, FeCl3. And I know the chloride ion, chlorine is in group seven, it's got seven electrons in its outer shell. It's more stable if it has eight, so it gains one electron to form the chloride ion, Cl minus. We've got three Cl minuses in this compound, and overall it's going to be neutral. It's not going to have a charge. So we've got three of these giving us a three minus charge overall, which means we must have Fe3+. plus. So those are our two ions, and we've melted our iron chloride, and so our positive iron ions are going to go to the negative electrode, and our negative chloride ions are going to go to the positive electrode. And then we want to think about what's going to happen when they get there. So our iron 3 plus... When it gets to the negative electrode, it accepts some electrons and turns in to iron. So we get the metal at the negative electrode. So we've gone from iron 3 plus to iron. We've therefore gone more negative in charge because we've gone from 3 plus to 0. And if we've got more negative, that means we must have got more electrons. So we have gained some electrons. And because we've gone from 3 plus to 0, we must have gained 3 electrons. Since we've gained electrons, then it must be reduction. Because if you remember what we've said previously, oil rig... Oxidation is loss of electrons and reduction is gain. So here, the iron 3 plus has gained three electrons to turn into iron atoms. If we look at our chloride here, that's going to turn from an iron again into an atom. Chlor chlorine atoms never go around by themselves. They always go around in pairs. So you always get Cl2. And because we've got two chlorines on this side, we need to make sure we've got two chloride ions on that side. Now if we look at the charges, here we're going from a negative charge to no charge. So we're becoming more positive, And that means going from the iron to the atom, we must have lost electrons. So we've lost some electrons. Each of our chlorides has one electron. We have two of them, so we must have lost two electrons. And as I said last time, we should check the charges. So two minuses over here, two minuses over there. That's okay. So we've got our chloride here losing electrons to form chlorine. Oxidation is loss of electrons, so this reaction is an oxidation reaction.